PGA Tour has left California. Now it's time for the Florida Swing at PGA National this week for the Honda Classic. I'm Center Sports Noah Kozlov. He's John Swantek, host on PGATour.com. PGA Tour Live starts on Thursday, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out Phil, Rory, Ricky Fowler, and others. And that's how you watch every tournament all year long, PGA Tour Live. Let's start with Tiger and that report on Monday coming out, John, about his condition, how it's worsened and you really can't do anything. Is Tiger much of a conversation anymore on tour? You know, he wasn't until yesterday, until these reports came out uh, indicating that he was in really bad yeah. condition. Reports, by the way, that his agent, Mark Steinberg, aggressively uh, denied. So we'll see about that. Look, I, I wouldn't say that professional golf or the PGA Tour has moved on from Tiger, but I do think we're in a situation where we're comfortable with the crop of young stars that's carrying the torch right now and, and leading the game. Remarkably gifted players and real gentlemen, great ambassadors for the game. So everybody's cool with that. We can only hope that Tiger comes back. He doesn't even have to be great again, though. No. He just mm -hmm. has to be competitive and relevant. And if he were to somehow come back and challenge these guys, it would be even better for the landscape of the game. We just don't know if that's the case or when that's going to be. Yet, I was on a couple sites this morning, and Woods is 33 to 1 to win the Masters. So I don't know. <laughs> Get out of here. 33 to 1? Right, yes. Yeah, yes. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not wasting my money on that. Maybe on Phil. Where's mm. Phil's game at right now, and how does he play into the picture at the Honda? He's pretty fired up. He's really reinvigorated about uh, his game. I mean, you know about the breakup with Butch Harmon. And mm. Phil said some great things, by the way. He said, look, Butch Harmon is the greatest swing instructor ever. He should be in the Hall of Fame. Maybe I just wasn't listening to him, is what Phil said. Needed some fresh eyes, some fresh ears. He's got that in Andrew Getson, his new swing instructor. He's not as results-oriented as he always has been, he says. Yet the results are there. He was second, third, and 11th in four West Coast starts, and he comes to the Honda where he finished 17th last year. Turns 46 in June. He said he's motivated by his love for the game, uh, and I think Mickelson is in for a really good year. It's been a while since he's won, but he's pretty fired up. All right, picks. I waxed you last week. I'm taking Sergio this week. Who do you have? You better hope Sergio brings a little more than he did at, uh, at Riviera. I was between two guys. One was Brooks Kepka, but I landed on Adam Scott. I love the way he played at Riviera last week, no one finishing second. In fact, it was his third runner-up finish in his last six official starts around the world. I was watching uh, with interest and with curiosity to see how he looked on the greens now that he can no longer anchor the putter. But pretty comfortable to me, actually. Hold some long ones. A little shakier on some of the shorter ones, but, but who isn't? All in all, I thought it was really solid from tee to green. That's exactly what you need this week at PGA National, which is a tough course where the conditions will be really blustery the first couple of days. I like Adam Scott. PJ Tour Live Thursday, 7 a.m. from PGA National for the Honda Classic. He's John Swantek. Good talking to you. Thanks, John.